Hey everybody, welcome back, Alex here. A couple weeks ago, I had a little what the moment here and um, let me replay that for you. I have two machines here, an Intel MacBook Pro with a Core i9 and one of the new MacBook Pros with the M1 Max chip. And what I did was an experiment in Google Chrome developer tools. I don't need to say Google Chrome, everybody knows what Chrome is, developer tools. Let me set this up for you on this machine over here. So I did a console.time and uh, console.time allows me to time a certain function. So I'm gonna give it a name, let's say test. And what I wanna run is a loop here. So it's gonna be for let i equals zero, i is less than, oh, let's say, 10 billion. 10 billion dollars. Anybody get that reference? It's pretty old. I plus plus and we're not gonna give this a body. So this is gonna essentially just loop through and <laughs> use up my CPU quite a bit. Now this is single threaded by the way. So we're only operating on one core of the CPUs. And now we're gonna do a console.time end. Pretty useful little feature in JavaScript, time and time end. And if you give it the same key, which I did here, test, it's gonna print out how long whatever runs inside of it took. Okay, so I'm gonna press enter here. And there we go. That took 8.4 seconds on my Intel machine. I'm gonna do the same thing on my M1 Max machine. Let's see how long that takes. Okay, 8.4 seconds. Now, one would expect that the new processors were gonna be much faster than the old Intel processors. If you've been watching any of the videos that I've been doing here, a lot of my test cases already show this, whether it's JavaScript or other technologies. However, if I run this a few more times, you'll see that I consistently get the Intel machine beating the M1 Max. So during my live stream, which I did a couple weeks ago, I asked this question, what the f and a lot of you came out with some explanations, which is what's really great about this channel and about live streams especially, because we get that interaction going on. And some of you left comments after the fact. But look at this, we're getting some consistent times where the Intel machine is beating out the M1 Max. And I actually ran this for 100 billion iterations. 100 billion. <laughs> and uh, the results are consistent. So in other words, the Intel machine got about 86 seconds, I think it was, and the M1 Max ended up getting uh, nine something seconds so considerably slower so what the heck is going on here this is in fact taking up CPU cycles and it is running and if I open up a bunch of tabs here doing the same exact thing it's gonna use up the entire processor and all the cores are gonna be used up doing this stuff so something is clearly happening well some of you pointed out that what's happening here is actually the code the JavaScript code that's running in the v8 engine is getting optimized and this line of code that I'm executing here is the equivalent of running a single instruction per CPU cycle. So what the heck does that mean? Well, the CPU clock speed on the Intel machine is actually faster than the CPU clock speed on the new M1 Max machines. Another thing that people were asking about in the comments and in the chat is how does this work in Node? Does it work the same way in Node? So I did this test in Node as well. I'm gonna show that to you in a minute. And I also did a test where there is an operation being performed in the loop. And that's what makes a difference. If there is an operation, then we're gonna have a new result. And I'll get to that in a moment. But here are some suggestions from folks in the comments. Zorg on Fire says, your loop has three operations, a comparison and a conditional jump that cannot be issued out of order. 300 billion instructions to execute as 3.2 gigahertz is exactly what it should be. So that makes perfect sense, right? So there's definitely some people here that uh, were curious about Node as well. And I'm glad this uh, question was posed because hopefully this will clear things up. But it may also raise some more questions. So if you do get those, put them down below and hopefully some people will respond. Casper S says, I'm gonna say it's a matter of frequency. In general, the M1 Pro Max can do more in one clock cycle than Intel. So this is what we're gonna test now. And I'm gonna switch over to my Node project, which I've actually found to have similar results to uh, running in V8 in Chrome. And that's why I created this little test here. Here's two functions. One is test one, and this is equivalent to what we did in Chrome, where there's a for loop with nothing in the body. And here's test two. And test two has something in the body, and it gets prime numbers. And here's a little function that basically figures out prime numbers and pushes them onto an array, prime numbers between uh, two and the max. And the max I'm gonna send in is two, so it's just gonna put keep putting two in an array, but it does some work. So you can see what work it does right there. And therefore the results are gonna be slightly different and take longer. So we're gonna start off with test one. I'm gonna press control back tick here to open up the terminal. We don't need Anaconda, that's for different 
tests and let's execute node index JS. You know what? <laughs> Just for old time's sake, let's make this a race. We're going to do the exact same thing here on the M1 Max as well. Node index JS and both of them at the same time. Let's go. So this shouldn't take so long. There we go. They finished pretty much at the same time. Let's run this a couple more times just to get some averages here. But on the first iteration, the Intel machine actually was a little bit faster. And now it's few uh, milliseconds faster. 8.2 over here on the Intel, 8.5 on the Max. These are pretty much the same numbers we got in Chrome. So I'm going to keep going with this method for the next test, which has a body. And I'm going to change my call to test two on both of these machines. And we're going to run that. So now it's no longer a matter of clock speed of the CPU. Now it's an actual test where the body of the for loop actually does stuff. Let's go. Okay, I'm hearing some fans and I'm hearing them from the Intel machine, of course. 93 degrees on the Intel machine. This one's staying nice and cool at 65. And we're at 100 degrees on the Intel machine and 3500 RPM on the fan, 1500 RPM on the max. So definitely some stuff going on on that Intel box. Let's take a look at the activity monitor here. You'll see that Note is running on one CPU at 105% there. And here it is, 93%, almost full on the M1 Max. And just to make sure, yeah, Note is running on the Apple process on the M1 Max. I do have Note 16 installed, which is the uh, Apple Silicon version of Node. By the way, if you're interested in installing Node and the, my process that I follow to install Node and uh, multiple versions of node using NVM node version manager, you can check out uh, the videos. I'll link to them down below. Definitely a lot of fan noise. You probably can hear that in the microphone 4800 RPM on the Intel box. I'm using TG Pro by the way to figure out this clock the RPM speed on the fans and the temperature link down below if you want to try it out and support this channel by buying it <laughs> using my affiliate link. I think it's like 10 bucks. Maybe I'll get a couple of cents from that. <laughs> All right, we're done on the M1 Max machine. So that one did finish first in this test. And I believe from what I remember, it's gonna be uh, a while before the Intel machine finishes this test. Okay, not super long, but enough time where this does make a big difference. And we're at two minutes and 13 seconds on the M1 Max machine and two minutes, 58 seconds on the Core i9 Intel machine. So Casper, thank you very much for that comment. And I'm sure a bunch of you also commented in a similar fashion but casper comment for some reason youtube bubbled it up to the top so thank you all for that and uh, there we go there's some results for you and this is not something crazy this has an explanation and the wtf moment is over and on the single threaded javascript operation this particular test the m1 max is a clear winner I've done this test multiple times, so I don't need to do it here. The results are consistent with what I've seen before. That's it for me today. If you like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And uh, if you found this channel, you're not subscribed yet, make sure that the subscribe button turns gray. Just tap on it. It turns gray if you tap on it, if you're not subscribed yet. So uh, appreciate that and I'll see you next time.